All right, ladies and gents, this is your host, The Peace Dealer. Welcome to your Magic Moon message. Threads available on my shop in case you're interested. Moon in Libra, Sun in Capricorn. Um, the sun is 12 degrees, so we're going to have a 12 degree Libra, 12 degree Capricorn, 270 degree angle. So 180 degree angle was at Moon in Cancer. And the 90 degree angle was Sun and Sag to Sun and Pisces. So we are completing the conjunction that started in Sagittarius. We activated Ascended Magic. We integrated the divine Pisces Moon understanding of this Sagittarius Ascended Magic. This led us to harvest power, the psychic understanding of this awakening God power in Capricorn, the integrity of what direction we apply this ascended perspective to. We knew what angle to walk up the mountain as we are taking this Noah's Ark we've built and the floodwaters are riding, rising to the mountains. It's crazy too. You guys are showing me uh, video clips of places in the world where the water levels are rising. Aren't you glad you built your ark? So basically, yeah, this is going to set us off towards the initial direction here. But that psychic understanding that we have effectively begun to harvest has now completed through the three stage harvest of Moon Cancer, Moon Leo to strengthen the energy of our psychic direction or intuitive or 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 sincere understanding of where we direct and harvest this power. And of course, Virgo, which gave us the real physical effect through the detailed analytical understanding of what evidence we can use to move forward in this integrity direction, this Capricorn direction, this cardinal collective universal direction that is taking four stages of activation since March in Aries, Cancer integrating in, of course, July, and then, of course, breaking through the harvest in Libra to where we are finally putting the cap of our character into play, the highest form, your OG self, your higher self, your God self. Boom, let's go. So this is the completion. If you see my monthly peace report, you may get Morpheus. Okay. You might be Neo right now, not realizing that their agents coming to kill you. And so your higher self is going to be Morpheus and be like, hey, my G. Yeah, I know you don't know me that well. Huh, the irony. But yes, uh, I need you to look to your right. You see those three people there? How did you know there were three people? Yeah, they're coming for you. And you need to leave right now. You're a cubicle. So like, you're, it doesn't have to play out like that. It probably will. But like, this is one going to unveil the layer of the illusion of peace or this invasion of privacy, which is beautiful because Cardi B's first album was called Invasion of Privacy. We could just call that coincidence in correlation. But personally, this is unveiling the layers with which you exist socially as an individual relative to one, the physical authorities that through technology like your phone or whatever file the CIA has on you is watching and monitoring you. It doesn't have to be anything exaggerated. It's just the whole fact that everyone is being watched at some measure. I'm not saying that you have a team of people watching you or maybe you do. But then we have the metaphysical layer of unseen metaphysical entities also through these physical entities watching you. This is going to, in unlocking the nodal south node Libra of your position in society, directing towards your individuality, north node Aries in two weeks where we'll come back here. And then, of course, in March where we have the eclipse here. So a lot of layers being unlocked, simultaneously bringing in the completion of this Capricorn cycle, which is effectively awakening the God level of your power, meaning all the programming you've put into your spiritual GPT, spirit GPT, since Gemini season, that Sagittarius season showed you the effects of this programming to where you could literally just speak to your higher self and like chat GPT, you'll get information. Hey, I want to go to uh, the bar later. What's up with crinkles down the street? And your higher self is like, uh, crinkles is going to be overflowed later tonight. Go to the 
bar next door. And now you're working with your higher self to literally co-create in your reality. Oh, hey, you know, I kind of want three tickets to this game. It's sold out. You think you could hook me up? All right, I got you, my G. Hold on. All right. Then, all right, go to this bar that's two doors away from you. You go to this bar. You talk to someone who's like, hey, you know, I'm not going to this show. <coughs> Here's three tickets. Boom. <coughs> This is the vehicle everyone collectively is awakening. And like if you give in to false narratives that lie to you, whether through religion to tell you you're a worthless sinner where you need a middleman to reach God or science, which tells you this God doesn't exist. Laughable, hilarious. And it's materialist, laughs and materialist reductionism. Yes, you've broken through these lies. Certain people have decided to give that power away, sell their soul to gain the world. You're like, eh, the world isn't worth more than my soul. And so whether you've you know, gone through guilt, shame against these established traditions that Pluto is destroying. Uh, fuck all that bullshit. You are claiming the treasure of your soul. And this is now preparing you to complete this cycle so that when we come into the new moon in a week from now, we now activate the cycle of power to awaken with Mars and its exaltation the actions to utilize this higher level of connection. Aquarius season is going to now download more knowledge of how to deepen the effects of this channel and Pisces is going to give on the full experience to activate this end of the world cycle over the next two years. That was a mouthful. Okay, so Moon and Libra helps you, wants to give you an artistic understanding. It wants to take the raw element of your character, spark through Aries, and now present through the mastery and practice of Virgo, Kobe in the gym, how you actually perform in the game. Libra is the game. Sagittarius is the climax of the game where you shoot the end game buzzer and you make it. All right, and Scorpio intensifies everything. So this is that balsamic phase through the moon and Sag that is going to make obsolete mortal capabilities as you step into a much more infinite capability of yourself. This is going to be even more controversial because this is making a yod to Neptune of the astral realm and imagination, trans Saturnian planet in Pisces, and another trans Saturnian planet, Uranus, that is for your causal mind. Both of these planets rule Aquarius and Pisces. Both of these speak of frequencies and vibrations which exist outside of the 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum that you're physically able to see. It's outside of the material. This is why people who have too much of this are labeled crazy or delusional when they're divine and genius all right unless it's imbalanced and they're probably delusional as fuck but the thing here is we also have this opposite chiron chiron is the trans saturnian bridge in between saturn and chiron as a dwarf star or or whatever asteroid you want to call it that is the key into taking your physical power and transmuting it supernaturally that's what chiron the wounded healer represents the wound that comes from the separation of illusion and has you function as just a physical being when there's a bridge of divinity beyond just this physicality. Chiron leading to Uranus, Neptune, and ruler of Scorpio, the only ruler of Scorpio, Pluto. We don't do ancient rulerships over here. No, but for real. Pluto representing the unconscious sense of your ID or your ego or really the unresolved trauma and darkness that we need to bring light into coming 29 degrees into Capricorn, which will at the end of this moon in Libra square and challenge how well you have harvested this awakening of the realization and completion of the evolution of your character. Another mouthful. I know, I know, I know. So we also will have the sun in Capricorn trining Jupiter and Uranus more in the thick of this. Once again, Uranus with the Yod and Neptune with the Yod and then Chiron with the opposition are featuring trans-Saturnian elements outside of reality, unseen metaphysical mechanics and dynamics that people with the height of their scientific understanding and limited perspectives of the years of experience they as a one person have done, which is just a sand in the grain of the totality of experience, acting like they know more than you because of their inconclusive theories, will not be able to make sense of. This makes this 
tied more to your personal experience with which you want to balance in Libra with the context of logic. So you are not lying to yourself. This is going to produce very supernatural experiences that the moon in Libra through other people will help you balance and integrate through synchronicities, shared psychic experiences, the completion of the application and utilization of your power at this super quality and level so that through other people you can balance how it is you express this. And that's going to look sci-fi. If you give in to a lot of BS that you are told from people who look the part but don't really have the wisdom they say you do, you're going to give your power away to people who are going to give the impression that what you're doing is impossible when nothing is impossible. You're getting ready to break through outside the box of conventional and human logical thinking so that you can be the revolution and experiment how you are integrating metaphysical aspects of your consciousness that exist outside of the 1% of the electromagnetic frequency with which you can perceive as above, so below. Just because somebody is saying that they can listen and speak to dead spirits doesn't mean that they're not full of shit. You'll know they're able to do so because they prove it. They show you. It's specific. It's not vague. It's not like, oh, they might have been a man or a woman. They're telling you the name, the age they were when they died. And this is going to express through you as you are now getting ready to bottleneck filter the completion, 270 degree angle, of this Capricorn transit. OK, people, most people who uh, can't get over their ego and, and rest in the fallacious nature of what they used to know, as if the for some reason that means they know more than other people, they may not be able to really stand the authenticity through your actions that prove wrong a lot of long established beliefs that in their time might have been what everyone believes, but they have to get with the fucking times because no one's that stupid enough to believe that anymore. This is culturally, this is socially, this is scientifically, this is pretty much hitting all levels. So a lot of this yacht is going to engage this metaphysical mechanic and function and dynamic to produce otherworldly and seemingly supernatural actions through you. When most of it is not supernatural, it's actually basic, but because of the way society looks at these things, they may hype up certain things you were born doing naturally. All right. Other than that, really, really great transit from not only powerful development, but South Node and Libra furthering the unlocking of power where Capricorn will help you learn to direct it. Mars is moving into Capricorn at 29 degrees and Mercury will join as well as Venus is still in the thick of Sag. So you're coming into a f final perspective that has you move into the right direction that will click for you, especially for those of you who have been coming into a higher meaning of relevant upgrades towards your consciousness that have upgraded the capabilities of even the most basic abilities. You write better, you smell better, you wake up better, all right? These are noticeable. You're able to gauge the progress, especially if you've been writing notes and logging this progress in journals and diaries. So with that being said, as Mercury comes out of its square to Neptune, this is going to disillusion you out of deception that may have come from an erroneous way of perceiving the meaning of an experience with which now you've gained a lot more crucial context. And I hope it uh, I hope you do enjoy this transit. This is going to disappoint a lot of people who have rested on the illusions of knowing what they thought they knew when they really only knew at most a half truth. And once again, you can't see more than 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum. So everyone is walking around with a limited perspective, which accounts for a itty bitty bitty small piece of a puzzle that we'd have to come together to put all together. And the Saturn and Pisces test is as simple. If humanity can't get rid of their differences and get together, then the world will reset humanity. And you're going to see a lot of mass extinction events that are on course to happen. And the only way we can stop this from happening is if by some miracle, everybody all around the world overcomes their differences, which will open up the realization of these problems to be, of course, accomplished and solved naturally. 
but we don't live in a perfect world and you're going to see how people's inability to come together as a collective is what's going to lead to a lot of the end of this world and only the pure-hearted meek shall inherit the earth y'all stay blessed as always and until next time peace